Hi you all, in this short video, I am explaining how you can train your deep neural networks for a system having multiple atomic speeds. I am not a very regular YouTuber and post videos little occasionally, but your support and encouragement motivates me to keep going. So for future updates and videos, please like and subscribe to this channel. Developing a deep neural network algorithm and training procedures are quite easy when your problem statement is all about single species system. You don't have to worry about differentiating atomic species. All the atoms introduced to the neural network are same. Neural network weights are trained specifically for a single atom species. But your problem gets complicated when your training data consists of bicomponent or multi-component molecular systems as shown here. Now, your deep neural network is either confused or probably still considering all the atoms as one. As I move forward, I will not explain any deep learning algorithm or a descriptor to convert molecular structures as neural network inputs. I have three videos on my channel discussing methods to convert molecular structures to neural network inputs called descriptors and learning models that are commonly used in such problems. Link to these videos are present at the end or in the description section below. What I will be discussing in this video are short tricks that you can mix and match based on your problem and neural network algorithm. Just one simple reminder, most commonly used methods in neural network either describe local environment of each atom within a specific radius as local descriptor or consider global representation of entire structure as global descriptor. So the best way to tag each atom species for neural network is by adding an additional input feature of atomic number for the species involved. This is the easiest approach and is used in many models such as graph neural networks, but this is not very helpful in differentiating the isotopic and multivalent characteristics between the species. Another most popular approach is used when the neural network is calculating atomic energies and forces. Here, we train different neural network weights for each species. So for a bicomponent system, as in here, there are two sets of neural network weights specific for each atom species. It is a good method to differentiate each atom's local environmental characteristics. This allows easy scalability. If you need to predict energy for a molecule, simply put neural network specific for each species together and sum up the energy predictions to get the total energy of the system, E total. This method was introduced by Professor Beheller for his high dimensional neural networks. For complete details, you can refer to his works. Coming back to the third approach, this is not very popular yet, but is reported to reduce the simulation time. In the third approach, Rather than training entire species-specific neural network, you can train a few nodes for a single species and then freeze those nodes, freeze those nodal weights as non-trainable and add new trainable weights for another species. This approach can be extended for many atomic species and it is specifically good when you have to train model for bicomponent interactions rather than taking any atom species as individual, interactions between both the species nodes are considered. However, this technique requires careful conceptualization and validation. So I summarize three different ways atom species are differentiated in deep neural network algorithms that exist in literature. And if you have any more suggestions, please feel free to share them in the description section below. Thank you for watching.